This time tomorrow, NASA's Perseverance rover should be on the surface of Mars, and it should look something like this, entering the planet's atmosphere around 2.15 in the afternoon, reaching speeds of more than 300 miles per hour before separating from the heat shield and using a parachute to approach the surface. It's a complicated but important mission to learn more about the planet and whether humans could survive there. So to get us ready for this, I spoke to a NASA engineer all about it new at 7. Well, very exciting stuff. Tomorrow, NASA will visit Mars for the first time in nearly a decade. This is with the rover Perseverance, and it's set to touch down. Joining us to talk about it is Philip Twu, an engineer at the Jet Propulsion Lab in California. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. So we have Hi, thanks for having tons of questions for you. <laughs> the Perseverance will be the first rover to land on Mars since Curiosity in 2012. What are we there to do? Of course. So, whereas the previous rovers went to Mars trying to answer the question, you know, could ancient Mars have supported life? This time around, we're actually going to be carrying special tools and sensors on board with us that will let us directly search for evidence of ancient life. And that's pretty exciting because we finally get to answer the question, were we ever alone in the universe? On top of that, we're going to collect rock and soil samples to bring back to Earth one day. And to top it all off, we're going to be testing out brand new technologies, including the first ever helicopter on Mars and a brand new machine that could generate oxygen for future astronauts on Mars to breathe. Wow, that's incredible. And I know that the rover is set to touch down in a place called Jezro Crater. Why did you guys pick there and what are we looking for there? That's right. So we're going to be touching down in Jezero Crater. Scientists spent a long time debating what is the best place to go and look for this evidence of life. And they chose Jezero Crater because it used to be an ancient lake bed, meaning a long time ago, that area used to have water and all the ingredients that are needed for life. Now, when we go to Jezero Crater, uh, what the rover is going to be doing is it'll be studying ancient rocks to look for biosignatures of microbial life. So just like how dinosaurs left behind fossils for us to find today and learn about them, these microbes, you know, small little little organisms that you have to use a microscope to see that we think may have lived on Mars one day will have left behind biosignatures that we can find in these rocks. For those of us who are interested, how can we stay plugged in during this event and then hear more updates on the latest discoveries? Of course. So live broadcast of the landing begins at uh, two fifteen p.m. Eastern time. You can watch the live stream of the landing at mars.nasa.gov. And to follow the latest news on the landing, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook at NASA Persevere and at NASA Mars, as well as hashtag Countdown to Mars. We will absolutely be doing that. Philip Tooth, thank you for joining us, and we'll all be eagerly watching tomorrow. Thanks for having me.